Hi everyone, thanks for joining me. Today's perfume review is all about Chinabra by Maria Candida Gentile. This is a perfume brand out of Italy and the perfumer for all the perfumes is Maria Candida Gentile. She is a trained perfumer. She has the title of master perfumer from a perfume institute in Grasse, France. So she's not self-taught but this is kind of an indie niche perfume brand a um, little bit harder to find outside of the EU I think but I was lucky enough to be able to smell some of the perfumes in person because um, there's a little perfumery around here that has them all and I ended up picking up Barry Linden because first of all this place had them in the smaller travel sizes and I always like to get a travel size first instead of splurging on a big bottle and a lot of people that um, I respect have Barry Linen so I wanted to experience it for myself and then afterwards I ended up getting Chinabra which is a rose focus scent and really rose perfumes are some of my favorite perfumes ever so I had to get this and um, they had it in the little travel size so these are 15 ml sizes I think they're great for sampling and then once I get to know the perfume I can kind of decide whether I want a larger size or not that's just how I like to experience perfume if I can okay so Maria Candida Gentile this brand has a um, very unique style of perfume i think the notes are often unusual different from what you might have smelled before and she's really well known for using incense in her perfumes i feel like her incense based perfumes are the most well known especially something called uh sideris i think is one of her incense perfumes and i know a lot of people have that and have experienced that i actually didn't smell that one in store i was kind of overwhelmed by how many perfumes there were because there were quite a few um and there were some that i didn't like right off the bat but this one and Barry Linden were the ones that I liked. And so these are the ones that I smelled. These are actually not incense perfumes. So Barry Linden is an aromatic perfume. It's based on the note of Artemisia. That's really what stands out for me. So more of like an anisic, absinthe, licorice kind of smell. And then Chinabra, like I said, is a rose-based perfume. Um, Chinabra is based on the idea of an alchemist rose, so kind of a medieval idea of a rose. And because of that, I feel like it's a lot different than the usual rose perfumes that are out there. It's not very fresh. It's not earthy. It's actually quite almost mildewy and um, a decaying kind of rose. The top note of this has a really mouth-watering ginger uh, note in it and that is something that keeps me coming back to the perfume and I just keep smelling it and spraying it because I find it so interesting, intriguing, and it's a little bit pungent and really reminds me of those ginger candies that you might eat. Sometimes I eat them when I'm sick or crystallized ginger. If you've ever tried that, you can know that it's spicy once you eat a lot of it. But on the surface, it's also really sweet and kind of aromatic as well. And so Chinabra opens up with that ginger. Uh, the middle notes are centered around a rose, but again, because they're paired with the ginger, they're more of a gourmand, more of a pungent kind of rose. And it is almost like you've taken the rose off the stem and you've got it inside and it's warm and heated up in your hands and kind of dying down. And that is what comes through with this rose. It's not, like I said, it's not a fresh rose. It's not an outdoorsy rose. It's really a different, almost honeyed, um, gourmand, edible, chewy kind of rose that's in this perfume. The base notes of this are a Poppinax and vanilla. Those are the two notes that really stand out to me. I feel like once the fragrance wears and you get to that base note, 
it really becomes more of a skin scent. There's not a lot of sillage anymore and nobody else can really smell it. Even on myself, I found I could only smell it if I really put my nose up to my skin and tried to smell it. And I can smell it right now, but um, I know that this is not a fragrance that can take me throughout the whole day. It really lasts a short while, and I would say the most wear I've gotten out of this perfume is about four hours. So if I spray it in the morning, I know that by lunchtime or shortly after lunch, it will be gone. I actually think that's okay because it is such a unique fragrance because I do love the ginger in this. I think it just makes it so interesting and surprising and unexpected. I think also if um, you're opposed to ginger or that's something that you don't like, you definitely want to sample this first instead of blind buying it. I don't think this is a safe blind buy. I think you would have to smell it and wear it on skin before you decide whether you want a bottle or not. And I'm happy that I actually do really, really love it. I wasn't able to sp spray it on skin in the store, um, but based on the fact that it was a rose perfume, I wanted to come back to this. So the interesting things about this brand, the other thing that I wanted to mention is that um, this is all natural perfumery. That is Maria Candida Gentile style. She says that she only likes to work with natural ingredients. I think, you know, the idea of natural is up to interpretation. You know, what does that mean? Does that mean that you don't use any synthetic rose um, ingredients in this? or does it mean that you're creating your own tinctures? I'm not really sure. What I did notice, and the, that's, that's the reason I'm bringing it up, the, I did notice that this is lacking in those synthetic musks and bases that are in a lot of modern perfumery. So, um, you know, something like ISO E or Ambroxan, even in small, small, small doses that we can't necessarily um, perceive, help the fragrances last longer, um, have some sillage, have some projection, and they almost act like a bolster for the other ingredients in the perfume. So they prop those ingredients up, they help them last longer, they help them have a presence a lot of the times, and that is kind of what was lacking in this perfume. I found that although, you know, Chinabra is beautiful to wear, it just didn't last and it kind of fell flat after a little while, which was a little bit disappointing because the opening was so promising. And so I did notice, you know, to my nose, I noticed that there was something missing and that's what I felt was missing. So I reached out to her on Instagram and I asked her about that. And I said, you know, this really seems to be lacking those, those base materials that lots of perfume has. And she said, yeah, I don't use those. I really stick to natural perfume. That's my style. That's what I make. So kudos to her for, you know, creating some really unique, interesting, beautiful fragrances. Um, this is definitely a beautiful perfume. I would love to have it in a larger size if I finish this one, which I think I will. I took this on vacation with me and this is how much I used in about two weeks. And after two weeks, I actually put it away because I wanted to save some and I didn't want to use it all up. Um, so yeah, I, you know, the perfume is beautiful. It's wearable. It's so unique. It, there's nothing out there that's like it, but the focus is to make it all natural. It is missing that cushion, you know, that, that, um, that support, um, that helps all the other ingredients shine. So gorgeous perfume, interesting perfumery. I'm definitely interested to smell more of this brand. Um, but just a caveat that, you know, you might find that it just performs differently than, than other mainstream perfume does. That's it for me. Hope you found this useful and I'll see you next time. Bye.